Okay, welcome back to more Destiny 2 Forsaken. This is going to be the next quest uh, where we need to hunt down a, a lot of barons. So we're halfway through. If I open the map for you, <clears throat> we are 50% complete, so there are still three more that we need to get through. Now, uh, the power level recommended for this one's 420. The next one going to tackle, obviously, 430. And 440 at the end. Uh, I have done a little bit of read-up. Uh, which I do think it was necessary because I thought the soft cap thing wasn't really well explained. Uh, in fact, I don't think it was explained at all through the game. So uh, the idea is that... Oh dear. <laughs> the idea is that your level is actually in control of the soft cap. So the soft cap is, what, at 500 or something? And then... Um, but in order to get to 500, you need to level up all the way. So I believe in one of the videos I did say that leveling up is more like a meh for me. But uh, now it actually has more of a meaning than just kind of limiting your light level. It's the fact that you can't get higher light level stuff if you're not if you're not at the level threshold. So it's a little bit um, it's a bit annoying. <clears throat> but in essence, it just means that if you can get to level 50 as quick as possible then you can get all the start really grinding the power um that that's how, how i interpret it anyway so um uh, also another interesting note is that your soft cap is obviously controlled by your level so mine is currently capped at around 435 i'm level 42 uh if you have like a bunch of tokens available <clears throat> from your previous um uh, well from your d2 history then you could actually spend those at the vendors so i've got a bunch of tokens for uh, io and also from titan i haven't used them all at any i just kind of tried out a few rolling to see whether i can get any new weapons but they do drop at your soft cap so i've got some armor that were like three uh, four three five so that was a uh, that was it's just one of those things if you can't wait until like um the drop comes to you you can always try your luck if you're just looking for like one piece of armor to make sure that your power level is above certain thing to start a quest but that's pretty much it uh also i'm not sure whether i would show the other video where i actually unlocked a new super for the void class now uh it's called spectral blades uh it's pretty much the void version of blade dancer um I, I, which i thought was uh, it's an okay kind of addition because void hunters have always been about survivability it's never been on the attack but after using this for a while it just doesn't seem like it's balanced yet so it is pretty good it behaves exactly like a blade dancer but the it's way too quick it's like it vanishes in a second. Um, it's not literally a second, but it's way too quick compared to like um, using Orpheus Rig plus the Tether, etc. So I think for the time being, I will still be sticking onto the Tether, which I completely forgot to um, <clears throat> switch back. My fault. <clears throat> so this one here with Dead Force, Snare Bomb, Keen Scout, that's my default one that, to go to. Um, I'm not sure whether there will be any more... Uh, changes to the super these particular four uh how do you call it quadrants seems to be uh, as it is i don't think it's going to change much so maybe an exotic armor like the uh ride and flux would fix it uh, by extending it a little bit longer but then again yeah i don't know maybe it will maybe it won't now um that's pretty much it so there's a little bit of catch up to do on the level up before i can start this particular quest but i didn't have to play for long uh, a lot of the times i just kind of mess around and see whether i can get um a little bit different weapons so there's not really a lot of changes but i will still be rocking the bow because that's the thing about forsaken that's the new thing uh, so i'll be using that <clears throat> and as you can probably see right now i'm standing more or less next to the mission marker i think right yeah there we go that's the one so we're going to try out the hangman <laughs> wish me luck guys this servitor's been drained no mauled i see a name carved into it rexus vaughn the hangman. I've got a lead on him. Okay, so now we have a mission marker. We can go straight there. Now, um, now because the soft cap is actually... Oh, what am I doing? This is like 
open area. Um, <laughs> because the soft cap is actually controlled by your levels, so obviously you want to level up as quick as possible. Now, there are some ghosts out there that will increase your experience gain by like 10%. So if you have one of those, make sure you equip those. Or if you want to grind strike, because strikes have been um, rebalanced a little bit. So you get more experience from strikes than you do in public events. Uh, which means that it's actually a good opportunity to use those ghosts to get more experience. Just to hit level 50 a little bit quicker, if you can. Alright, let's see what's, uh, what's available around here. It doesn't seem Servitors saved. Okay, we need to save Servitors. Or it might help us out if we free. So I'm using now a shattered piece, which is a, uh, which is still one of the uh, equipments from D uh, D2. I was about to say D1 there, uh, regular D2, which uh, is actually a pretty good gun. It never really, ca it never really kind of caught my eye. To be fair, it's just one of those hand cannons, Omanon hand cannons that um, you kind of go, yeah, it seems okay. So it's for me, it's like a personal preference thing with this gun. But since it it has the highest power level at the moment, I will happily use it. Uh, let me get those chests before. Um, is there a chest? It looks like there's a chest. No oh dear. Okay, let me let me save this particular servitor. Now the I still think the bow is pretty dang good, like really solid uh, compared to. Oh, excuse me. I st I don't have my super yet. Oh, that frame rate. Wow, I missed. I missed bad. Defeat the hangman second. I'm not sure what the second is. Servitors are holy to the fallen. They create the evil that the fallen need to survive and grow. It's shocking that the scorn, who were once fallen, would even attack servitors. Okay, it's saying that there's a chest here, but I don't see anything, so it must be at the lower level or something. So I'm just gonna continue with the uh, mission marker. Now I'm I'm kind of uh, very aware of collecting chests now because they they're not rare to come by, but the planetary material is now very difficult to grind for because you before the patch um, even after patch 2.0 you still get like four tokens sorry not tokens four four material per chest uh, and occasionally on the singular nodes uh, like the planetary nodes that the actual thing that you can uh, interact with and get. They usually drop one, but occasionally they do drop six, or they did. So I'm not sure whether they still do that. Like, there's a chance that you can get more out of that one pick. Um, but I'm going to guess no. <clears throat> so that means that any chest you come by, um, you probably should pick them up straight away. Now, let me have a look. Are we back to the main area? Now, um, also, there's an. Another thing which uh, I, I feel kind of sad about because um, I really like the previous setup. Now, due to the renovation work in my house, <clears throat> I've had to move some stuff that, off the recording gear. And I, I record using um, a fairly regular USB mic. <clears throat> uh, and then I upgraded it to something else, uh, which I really liked. But I, had, I, I was still trying to kind of get to understand the, um, all, the, all the sound and stuff and how it behaves etc but um, during my previous video edits I realized that it's actually it's actually a little bit too much because uh, of where I am as I say I'm recording from a cupboard at the moment <laughs> and I'm really not joking so uh, the sound echoes back into the mic a little bit too much uh, so I decided for this particular video, and if you have been watching the past few videos, you probably noticed that I sound a little bit different. I decided to use my old microphone. I want to see whether this one video would be slightly easier to edit because um, <clears throat> when I tried to uh, edit the last few videos with the newer microphone, I had to tweak a lot of the audio 
to make it sound a little bit more natural. <clears throat> Even though the quality wasn't like extremely bad or anything, it was just one of those. It was just one of those moments where you go, "Is it really worth it?" Because I want to kind of just get it edited and then keep on grinding, and then I find myself spending like hours trying to get like tiny little details right. <clears throat> so. Yeah, it's like a compromise,、uh, which I hope would be、uh, would work out for the better. Just because, just because I, I like to play this game, but、uh, as an office worker, it's very difficult to find that time to find that balance. So that's there's a reason why people want to you know、uh, want you to support small YouTubers or. Small streamers because they、uh, more than often they're kind of struggling with two different identities in their lives. Like they need to maintain actually getting bread <laughs> by having a job, and then the, and at the same time they want to like immerse themselves into playing as a gamer or whatever. I mean, some of us are not so fortunate to realize that what they really wanted to do when they're young, and a lot of the times when you're young, you kind of waste it on some of the stuff. So. For me, I、um, I I really wanted to become one of these people who can just play for leisure,、um, but obviously there's a lot of things in real life that kind of stops you. So yeah, supporting small like YouTubers and stuff is like a real thing. At least I think it is. So if you do come by like a、um, I don't know a streamer that's just about to start their career, except oh my, did he? Oh no. We didn't get to save this one in time. I feel bad. Okay, defeat the hangman. I'm gonna guess that we can actually go now. Whoa! Excuse me. That's very rude. Ah, crap. Now, do I want to waste a sleeper on this guy? Okay, I definitely wasted a sleeper on everything, but that's all right. Okay, they went. Hmm. I think I've been here before. Hmm. <clears throat> In one of the、uh, quests to bring down one of the barons. So yeah, the uh at the official recommendation. Which, from my, what I read, and this is like spoiler-free version, is that just continue with the story campaign.、Uh, sorry, the campaign mission, and you pretty much hit like a block at some point with your leveling up and stuff. So there's not really a lot of point if you want to try to grind it and、uh, like properly grind it before you start the story. You might as well just play the story as much as possible before you、uh, before you decide that you need to grind because you hit like a bottleneck, which I think is like the best way to enjoy.、Um, To enjoy any game, really, if you're playing like regular JRPG or, or stuff,、uh, you always get an option to like stay in a stay in a、uh, area, and you're free to stay as long as you can, and then you can end up being like extremely overpowered for the next area. But then it kind of just ruins the mood for you because you need to kind of have to maintain the momentum to play for the rest of the game. And I think this is、uh, one of those things that I learned.、Um, When I was playing Final Fantasy VII,、uh, I think I was playing it on PS, and I started on PS, and I never really finished it. And I went to PC and decided I wanted to finish it. So I'm not sure whether I ever went back to PS, but I think I first completed it on PC at the time. And dang it, that was difficult to install on PC because I wasn't real, I wasn't rich, so the PC was like crap. I can't even remember what it was.、Um, was it this way? So Final Fantasy VII is like one of those moments where I go, yes, that's like my def the definitive game for me at the time when I really wanted to spend like hours and hours on grinding stuff. Can I save this one? Oh, it looks so sad. It looks so sad, man. Now the anyway the what was I saying? That there was a yeah.、Uh, so. I'm not sure whether I actually concluded the、uh, the discussion about the microphone, but、um, I'm really hoping the microphone I'm using right now wouldn't pick up too much of the ambient noise because that's the reason why I've removed it. 
in the first place, which I thought, um, but in this little cupboard, I think it will shine a little bit better compared to, compared to the other one. Um, this is all like experimental. If it doesn't work out, then I'll have to switch back to the previous one. Um, but do let me know if you think that the noise, the voice quality is better or worse on this one. It's, uh, hmm. It's up to you. I'm letting the audience decide. Whoa, excuse me. Okay, the um, the bow is absolutely crap when it comes to close range, but it doesn't mean you can't use it hmm. in, in places like this, especially in places like this, it's actually okay, where it's like close quarter. Now, what, what are we supposed to do? We're just cleaning house. It's just as defeat hangman. There's no special. There's no special requirements around here that we need to fulfill. What the? Right with the hand cannon. The hand cannon, the playstyle that you should aim for is uh, one hit kill. If you can aim for the one hit, you should aim for it because you don't really have a lot in the in the clip. So you, rather than trying to like do a body or a head, I will always try to do a headshot, just because this it's probably uh, it's a bit of a gamble, but I think it's worthwhile gamble if you can pull it off. And most of the time, on a console at least, um, if you're not if you're not playing on a PC where there's a, where there's a mouse and keyboard and and stuff, uh, it's actually okay. Your um, at least I think it's okay because. Uh, and there we go. There's not really a lot of a. Uh, Oh crap, is that like a second? Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. Release the surfaces. Okay. The hangman enjoyed this, causing pain. Let's get out of here, Guardian. I don't want to think about what he did to Cade. Okay, what there you go. But yeah, you see that the leveling is just infinitely easier when you're playing a story mission, a proper story mission. So that was 5,500 EXP. And it wasn't that particular difficult a fight either. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend just kind of stick to the campaign mission. You get a little bit more. You get loot naturally as you play. So there's not a lot of reason why you want to grind a lot. Look at that, 440. <laughs> it's like, why would you need to? Um, so I'll just equip the, um, I'll just equip the blue stuff and move on pretty much. Now I need, uh, now I need a decent helmet. 433, three. yeah, I don't need that yet. <clears throat> so because we don't have any mods anymore, so it doesn't really matter if, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you, if you just ditch them. Uh, but the armor, however... That's a different story because they do come with random roles, so you want to keep the ones that you think would be suitable for your playstyle. So, helmets, uh, but not the D1 stuff anyway. The D1 stuff doesn't seem like it will come any in any sort of random roles, which uh, I believe they did say they're going to keep most of the D1 stuff static. Um, I have yet to see another... Uh, again, sorry, I said D1. D2 vanilla, my bad. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I have yet to see a, a piece of weapon or armor from D2 Vanilla that has random rolls. Um, I think this one, yeah, Shattered Piece looks about the right. Yeah, high caliber rounds and also Zen Moment. I remember this gun being very similar to Imset HC4. So it also has high, high caliber rounds, only Imset has Dragonfly, I think. <clears throat> so yeah. 
So that was the hangman. Uh, then it wasn't particularly challenging. It seemed like it was just one of those tight, tight area, close combat, some traps. But it's not as entertaining as the bomber uh, or the trickster. So let's see whether the next one will give us more surprises, shall we? Yeah, let's do this. I shall see you there in the next video.